Howdy gang, Trailblazer Tim here. Today I'm just going to take a few moments and I'm trying to explain to you the difference when it comes to poisonous and non-venomous water snakes. So stick around and let's find out. Here in the southern United States of America and most of the southeast areas, uh, we tend to enjoy outdoor activities a lot longer in the year because of warm temperature. But that being said, comes along with a lot of outdoor water recreations, but along with that comes dangers. Water moccasins. In the southeastern United States, there's generally around four different species of actual water snakes. You have the banded water snake, the green water snake, the brown water snake, and the cottonmouth, also known as a water moccasin. In the next several clips, I'm going to show and explain to you what to look out for when it comes to knowing the difference between a venomous and non-venomous water snake. So you're going to want to watch. This is the general region in which you will encounter these types of snakes. The first of our water snakes is the braided water snake. Then we have the brown water snake, as well as the green water snake. And let's not forget about the king, cottonmouth water moccasin. The braided water snake is the smallest of the four different species, has a round pupil. And generally you will not see these, they are very to themselves, non-venomous. Next is our green water snake, as it resembles its name from its color, large-bodied reptile. And they are pretty invasive, you don't see them very often. Onto the brown water snake, same, round eyes, low profile, large body reptile, non-venomous. Onto the water moccasin. They have a large head and always have their head at a 45 degree angle. Slitted pupils and always have a distinctive stripe across their head no matter what. Very deadly. Unlike popular myths, these things are not going to come at you unless you piss them off. They also, when they open their mouth up and ready to strike, you'll see that they have white. That's why they call it a cotton mouth. Very large bodied reptile, pack a punch, can put you in a hospital. Even if they're black in color, you're still going to see the stripe going across their head, 45 degree angle and slitted pupils. So there you guys have it. Appreciate you dropping by. I hope you learned something. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if there's something I left out or something that everyone else can get some use from. Knowing the difference makes a lot of difference, okay? Because, you know, a lot of people just treat any snake as if it's going to bite and kill them, and that's a natural instinct. But you don't have to go around killing every snake you see because they're just minding their business like the rest of us. Thank you so much. Until next time, I'll see you then. Take care.